God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the Talk Radio Protégé. This is the Protégé Program. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you're having a fantastic week so far. We are at hump day. We're halfway to the weekend. Hold on tight because the news cycle is not slowing down. That doesn't mean that they haven't stopped talking about the same stories they talked about yesterday, which today they are. They're still talking about the developments in the Russia collusion scandal, which is to say uh, that nobody in the mainstream left media is talking about the revelations that the FBI was perhaps working in a partisan political manner in investigating President Trump. What they are ready to talk about is that Mueller, feeling the heat, is trying to get at the president, trying to get at his cabinet members. Remember, Robert Mueller is investigating possible obstruction of justice, and lying to the FBI is considered obstruction of justice. So if anybody in the Trump presidency, from Attorney General Jeff Sessions all the way up to the president himself, were to make a false statement, not even to lie, but to say something that turns out to be false would be considered at this point an actionable offense. We've had that demonstrated to us because Michael Flynn uh, is on trial or is being, uh, what's the word, being accused formally. I can't remember what the word is. Indicted, there it is. Indicted for lying to the FBI, uh, making a false statement to the FBI, where... We're at the point where it's obvious that nobody cares if an actual crime was committed. All we're trying to do is get something that we can make people believe is an actionable offense so that we can have something to tie around Trump's neck and potentially sink his presidency. What got me excited in the news was this headline, Ugandan president praises Trump for his frankness. Africans need to solve their problems. And it got me excited because I thought, okay, here's another world leader that's like, you know, super duper racist. This is obviously not okay. We obviously have to talk about this. This is obviously a terrible racist thing for this Ugandan president to say. So what exactly is it that he said? Ugandan president Yoweri Museveni, he even has a fascist sounding name, is praising President Trump for his frankness. America has got one of the best presidents ever. Well, if Ugandan President Museveni thinks that Trump is great, then he's obviously a bigot. He's sexist, racist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, all of the above. He said, I love Trump because he tells Africans frankly, the Africans need to solve their problems. The Africans are weak. Wow, you guys, like, What a really bad racist person this guy is. Now, I'm not going to show you the word. I don't, I don't care for it, but, uh, these, these comments apparently came after, uh, the President Trump said that terrible, awful racist thing that he said about the garbage hole countries. I'm sure that you remember it, the, the media, Uh, went crazy using the word. They took Trump using the word as their own license to swear. Just an awful, awful thing that the president said. But who is this leader of Uganda? And how dare he say that the president, our president, Donald Trump, is an awful, terrible, is such a great person. He must be an awful, terrible racist. Uh Uh-oh. Looks like the president of Uganda is black. How do we explain this one, you guys? How do we make this guy a racist? This is the man that said Africans are weak. This is the kind... Those words in the same sentence would totally obliterate the political career of anybody in the United States of America, even if they had as much melanin in their skin as this man does. But this is a guy from Africa. This is one of the blackest men I've ever seen. He's from Africa. He's 
He really is one of the people that ought to be able to speak with authority on this issue. And he said Trump's got it right. He said Trump is the greatest president that America has ever had. Guys, how are we supposed to deal with this? How are we supposed to spin this? I'll tell you how we're supposed to spin this. This is the wokest of the wokest of the African presidents. This man has it right in his head. If you'd like to read some more about this person, the website is called planetrulers.com, and they do point out that Uganda is not a very free society. I'm not sure by what measure they declare that Uganda is not a free country. They're using the uh, the freedom... Oh, who was it? We, we can... We could... Well, I don't have my internet turned on, or we would take a look at this. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see if I've got their map pulled up down here in the related articles. Okay, yeah, here it is. So this is the map that they use of the not free countries. And apparently it's a map that's created by another organization, Freedom Something, I can't recall the name. And it cites Uganda as not a free territory. Now I haven't looked into how they get to this measurement, but if you would like to read about this man, uh, Yoweri Museveni, it states that he appears to be a benevolent dictator. Now, that's just appearances, and that's just my impressions of the first skim reading of this. But feel free to go and read some more about this guy. This terrible, racist, bigoted, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic dictator of a third world country who says Trump is the greatest, one of the greatest presidents of all time. In other news, apparently uh, Schumer's voters are angry. Angry illegals converge on Schumer home, this headline from the American Mirror states. Now, the leftist version of this article, the correct version of this article, would read that immigrants are demonstrating outside of Schumer's home. They're not violent. They're not mad. They're, they're just demonstrating. And it's all immigrants. And they're, they're not illegal. And they're immigrants. So the, the brown people are really, really mad that Schumer has let them down uh, on the government shutdown over the docket issue. But I thought, you know, let's go look at some pictures of who the people are that are protesting outside of the Schumer home. And each of these photos has the headline, Thousands Protest Outside Schumer's Brooklyn Home. And wouldn't you know it, some of the whitest immigrants I've ever seen, the only person front and center in this picture that I would say might be an immigrant is the, the gender nondescript, race nondescript person there you see on the left in the orange hood beanie. There's a bunch more white people that are apparently, uh, according to the American Mi Mirror, illegal immigrants. I, I, based on these photos, I'm not willing to say that it's all immigrants, which says to me that it's a bunch of white moral busybodies that are out and up up in arms outraged over uh, over the bad the shaft that immigrants are getting apparently on behalf of these illegal immigrants there we got a bunch more white people looks like some college possible college age people a bunch more white people outraged on behalf of brown people now here are some people that could possibly be immigrants this looks like a shot of actual DACA participants. But all of the other photos, all of these other photos of alleged DACA participants have a lot of white people in the photo. This is the whitest photo of DACA participants I've ever seen. Again, this is the whitest photo of DACA participants I've ever seen. Again, <laughs> we could keep going. These are the whitest DACA participants I've ever seen in my entire life. And then we get to the end of it there. Immigrants are not upset over the DACA stuff. You've seen the photos for yourself. We scrolled through all of them until we got to a picture of the politician that's involved in these protests. And I remarked at how rare it was for non-white faces to appear. You know, this, these, there could be some uh, 
immigrants, some probably some illegal immigrants, probably some DACA participants, but undoubtedly some of these individuals are legal immigrants. There could be some in these photos, but they're clearly not the majority. The people that got the photos of the immigrants, you know, how many pictures did we look at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten photos. How many had non-white people in... Let's just see how many had non-white people in them. I don't see any here. One. Nope. 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 Two. Three. Nope. Nope. Three of the ten. The, those were all of the quote-unquote immigrants that, this, that these photographers could find that were protesting outside of Schumer's home. Ladies and gentlemen, the real immigrants into this country, the people that are coming here legally, the people that we want to be Americans, the people that want the American dream, that want the America that Donald Trump is talking about reviving, are not upset over the DACA participants potentially getting shafted and deported. If we are, if these images are to be believed, it is only, it, it, it is a very, it is a minority, ironically, somewhat not ironically, a minority of immigrants, a minority of people in general that are upset about this. It is cl certainly not, clearly in my opinion, not immigrants that are upset about this. And that's why the title of this video is Breaking Ranks, because of all of the people that you would typically think of as on the left side of the spectrum that are breaking, breaking ranks with their representatives in the left side of the government. Chuck Schumer being turned on by his own constituents, uh, a African dictator who is very black, siding with Donald Trump. This is all breaking the script. This is all leaving the ranks. This is all contrary to the Daily Soap Opera. And that's why I'm here bringing these stories to you. Because you're not going to hear about these things in the mainstream media. Nobody is going to talk about the fact that there appear to be very few actual immigrants, actual minorities, protesting about the alleged fact that minorities are getting shafted in the DACA negotiations. Nobody in the mainstream media, I dare say even Fox News would touch this, nobody is telling you that a very black person from Africa is praising Donald Trump over the garbage hole comment that he allegedly made last week. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, why don't you leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss future videos. We're uploading every, uh, every weekday so far with only a few failures. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you'll come back and join us next time. Until then, good night and God bless.